Hi guys from Rampin FM and today we continue our Cowden Beef career. We've got a match against Kilmarnock. We're coming straight back after that brilliant win against St Mirren. Um, if you didn't watch my score predictions World Cup video, you might not know that I currently have a summer cold. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't affect my voice too much. That's the reason my Kilmarnock FIFA career mode is kind of on hold at the moment. It's really hard to do uh, football commentary. I have recorded uh, a few of the games to the towards the end of the season. So they will be coming back as soon as my voice is a wee bit better. So Kilmarnock, they obviously beat us, I believe, in the first game that we played. So we're obviously not got a win over them. We are pretty much doing well in the league. We're a few points clear. Kilmarnock are actually not doing too good. Uh, Pedro Caxinia is the manager, obviously the former Rangers boss in real life. So we're hopefully we can get a win. Um, Adam Frizzle is unavailable obviously because he would he can't play against his parent club interestingly enough the other player that we have on loan from them could play but he, i can't remember the guy's name he's uh he's pretty much a backup and that's probably why i can't remember his name inverness cali look like they could be the sort of rivals but we are uh some distance away from other teams which is good for us at this stage because there has been a lot of sort of games to come. There is a lot of fitness concerns. I wasn't sure if uh, Aidan Wilson would have uh, managed this game. Uh, Wayne Rooney, he's not featured again today because we're still trying to build up his fitness. He's obviously a few years older uh, since we're three seasons in. Jamie Semple is our main striker at the moment, top scorer, which is a bit, it's kind of cool. I've never had an experience with that in FM. Obviously we had uh, Jack Aitchison and Zach Rodden, the top scorers in the last two seasons, and now it looks like Jamie Semple might be the guy. So that's pretty cool having kind of three different options, three strong options in the striking department. Uh, as for Ken Beef, we're really just hoping to get promoted. As I said previously, that is just our goal to get into the SPL and let's see if we can sort of compete with the big boys. We've obviously have experience with playing Celtic and Rangers, but we just need to get there. <laughs> Ah, excuse me. Uh, so, at the moment, it looks kind of like Kilmarnock might just be uh, not so much dominating, but certainly it looks like it's sort of 50 50 going into half time. But I would expect Kilmarnock to really give us a game here. Despite their league standards and their issues, you know, Kilmarnock are probably still one of the stronger teams in the championship. We just really have to push on from here. We just have to get really decent results against these teams. It's kind, kind of always a wee bit sort of boring and somewhat in Scotland because you are playing the similar uh, teams over and over again. So I totally respect that. We are going to make a few changes. We'll probably take off Rudden for Jack Aitchison. And we'll probably make a change in midfield in that as well. Yeah. So Jack has been featuring... Uh, somewhat. I've made a, a different changes here. Sorry, the, the recording didn't pick this up for some reason, so I've had to edit it a wee bit. Uh, we have brought uh, in midfield and in defence. Uh, Ross McGrory has came on. He obviously said about uh, Aidan Wilson. He's kind of struggling for fitness because we have played so many games. He has been one of the players that. Uh, and then we're 1 0 up. It's Jack Edgson just on at half time and he puts us 1 0 up. Absolute brilliant. But yeah, there's a lot of players that are sort of struggling for fitness because we have played so many games uh, sort of close together and we're only in, I think, November. So it's, it's something we have to maintain. We have to sort of use the, the most of our squad. Hopefully, we do have a few players loaned out uh, as well. So we might have to maybe bring them back depending on what it's going to be like coming into uh, sort of later in the year January February sort of thing but I'd like to get them to have experience as well we'll just have to wait and see there are a few players that I feel could obviously do us in the first team but obviously with Wayne Rooney I think when he gets fit it should be a wee bit better we'll probably uh, yeah we'll put Mikey Johnson to the left and we'll bring Laren Jara into centre mid. Yeah, it looks like it just to sort of try and maintain this lead. FM seems to be working better, obviously, as as I've said for ages, uh, I've had issues with it, but it seems to be working better. I'm still not comfortable uh, putting it on 
settings that I feel I could so it'll just be like basically looking at the game like this there probably won't be much highlights uh, at the moment because I'm just making sure it all works and stuff but I'm not having a Kilmarnock are starting to be a bit dominate it's kind of worrying me a wee bit uh, hopefully the change in formation will aid us here yeah it's not looking too good and they've just scored they're back in the game Kilmarnock yeah yeah not good we really have to push we are I mean we do have some distance uh, amongst us with other teams but we really should hopefully should be winning against these teams we just have to sort of concentrate come on guys yeah let's go counter looks like Kilmarnock have started to dominate a wee bit more uh, they're they're obviously just not taking their chances as much the shots on target are kind of like similar to ours but they've definitely had more chances so they are obviously going more attacking hopefully that can give us oh yeah we're back in it I think that was a penalty I was stalking for it but yep it's Jack Aitchison again absolute inspired substitution brilliant brilliant let's hopefully we can see out this game let's keep going guys this would be a brilliant win especially over a decent Kilmarnock side I know they're struggling a wee bit but Still compared comparing the two sides, obviously uh, they they still have decent players, and it would be a, a good win. Yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to get this episode out because I probably won't watch the next World Cup game. I watched uh, Uruguay and uh, Egypt. It wasn't the best game. It was uh, fairly fairly boring to be honest. Uh, Egypt were obviously un unlucky. Uruguay were a bit lackluster but they managed to grind out the win I'd, if they're I, I think they're a team that can go on and be a bit better but certainly that is the game over here good win for us despite their chances that's the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it we will be back I'm not sure I think we've got here in the next game but I'll probably not come back for that we'll just wait and see obviously I'll fill you in when we are back what's been happening I appreciate all the support as always Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.